Hey guys, uh, just got done with a quote uh, at a house on a compressor. Compressor that was bad. It's basically a um, second opinion. <clears throat> Ladies, just kind of gathering quotes right now on what it would take to get the work done. So you know, the theme lately with us YouTubers has been, you know not replacing the system if it doesn't have to be replaced and this lady's got a 15 year old train and she says that her house doesn't you know that and during the summertime here in Sacramento we have at least 20 days that are above 100 you know 100 to 100 degrees and we have a few days that are above 120 degrees or I'm sorry 110 degrees so it's hot here in the summertime. So it's important that you have good insulation levels. As well as a as a as well as a good AC condenser, you know, air conditioning system. So she says that this other company came out and says, oh, you got a bad compressor. You need to change your compressor, your system will perform better for you. He also recommended insulation and he also recommended some duct work. But he added the compressor to it. And I just think that's kind of stinker because I started the compressor up and well first I checked the capacitor. Uh, it was a 45 plus 7.5 and it was below factory specs. It was at 41 it was at 41 microfarads and the fan side was a little low was on the low side so uh, 43.7 would be the minimum on the capacitor for the compressor and it's at 41 so it's significantly below factory specs which will cause your compressor to run at higher amperage uh, eventually once that number goes down far enough the compressor will stop running it won't start up at all also, um, on startup, this, the compressor is running at 13 amps. It's, it's rated um, for a maximum of 19.3. So for a 15-year-old system, and it's like 60 degrees out today, so, so there's not very much, there's no load basically on that, on that compressor. No load on the compressor, running around 13.4, 13.5 on a 19 RLA. If it was 100 degrees out today, that compressor with that capacitor in there would probably be running at around 15, 16 uh, amps, maybe 17. But with a good capa with with a good capacitor in there, sorry, I got something in my eye. With a good capacitor in there. I think it's going to drop that that uh, amperage down a little bit. <clears throat> so back down to about the 13, maybe 14 amps. Now, if you add, I told her, there's a place right inside this compartment. For, in fact, there's even a piece of paper here that says reserved for start assist component. So I told her about a start assist and a, a compressor start kit. If you throw one of those in there, um, the way I like to explain it is if you were broken down in the middle of an intersection, you could probably push the car out of the intersection yourself. But if I came along and helped you push it out of the intersection, you'd be less tired when we we're done, and we could probably do it again. And a lot of people relate to that. A lot of people are like, oh yeah, I've had to push my car and it's exhausting. Well, it's, it's basically the same thing when you're starting up that, compa that compressor with just one capacitor so I told her so she's like so I don't need a new compressor I'm like personally I'm not ready to change this compressor out this other company came out and said you can either do a compressor or I can change out the whole AC unit for you hey actually I can replace the whole system for you if you wanted to you know 15 year old system so it's just not how I'm ready to run my company. I'm not ready to run my company that way. 
this guy who I'd actually heard, uh, you know, things, good things about, uh, because, well, I guess he, he, he does, spends a lot of money on advertising, but he's still a one man show, small company. But he's getting his name out there. He's got a lot of reviews on Yelp and a lot of reviews on the internet. So he's obviously doing a good job marketing himself. But I'm not into that kind of practice. I'm not ready to change your system out just quite yet. She doesn't even know if she's going to stay in that house after five years. Like they're, they're going to be moving in five years. Or they're going to stay and they're going to add on. Like, okay. Well then, when you add on... In five years, you're gonna figure out whether you're staying or whether you're going. And if you're gonna stay and you're gonna add on, then you're gonna to wanna to get a little bit bigger system. So change out your system then. <clears throat> and right now, with a new capacitor and a, and a compressor start kit added, and insulation in your attic, because they're, they're blown in insulation in the attic, is not any more than the size of my thumb. I mean, it's all that pink, pink uh, fiberglass insulation, and there's nothing up there. And then they have a six inch duct running to their master bedroom. They said they're not getting enough airflow. So it's like a 10 that goes to an eight that goes to a six. One main, one main uh, home run to their master bedroom. So I said, hey, if we, if we increase that to an eight inch duct and increase the size of your register, then that'll significantly increase the amount of air getting to your master bedroom. I think you'll be really happy with it. Uh, they said they get super cold in the living room and the kitchen area that's all on one 10 inch trunk so i'm thinking i'll just add a manual damper onto that so we can tweak that if needed but their main complaint was that they weren't getting enough airflow to their master bedroom and now we know why there's a six inch six inch duct so i want to do all that work she says her husband you know changed out the last dual run capacitor so he'll probably want to change out the his own capacitor then this time <clears throat> and I told him that the compressor start kit would be a really smart idea too. So that guy's a mechanic, and um, so I'm pretty sure he'll be able to figure it out himself. But I might get to do the duct work. So, so that's where we're at on that call. I just I just wanted to share that with you guys. I agree. If if it's not time for the system to be changed out yet, don't change it out. And. You know, like, uh, she told me the price that he was going to be able to change that condensing unit out for, and it's like, it's like way below my price. I mean, I can't even compete with that, so I don't even know how a guy like that's going to stay in business very long. Um, didn't sound like he was going to pull the permit. He was going to leave that up to the homeowner to pull the permit. I always pull the permit for the homeowner. And I would get that Title 24 uh, done as well. So it's just it's just different companies and the way they run business, and just the way they do things. And personally, that kind of chafes me a little bit. I, I'm kind of disappointed in that company because <clears throat> now that I hear now when I hear his name, I'll be like, oh yeah, he, yeah, he's money hungry and. He's just going to be uh, another scammer, just like the big companies. All good. Hey, thanks for letting me listen. Thanks for listening to me ramble. <laughs> I appreciate it. And um, let me know what you guys think. Always interested in what you got to say. So comment down below. Like. Subscribe. Thanks for watching.